What's up, everybody? Mark with Ecom Warriors. It feels a little different to say that because I have a lot of YouTube channels now. Uh, but with Ecom Warriors, guys, what we're doing is we're just helping people become better at e commerce, all right? So, what we're going to be talking about today is what are my favorite or what are my favorite uh, Shopify themes? What are the best Shopify themes out there? Um, something I want to say before we start this video is I've probably tried at least over 200 themes. Um, I've tried everything in the book. In fact, I've had so many days and months where I was making no money at all in my lifetime where I was just experimenting with everything, you know, just being a student of the game and learning. This was way back in the day, but, um, through that period of time, I kind of learned what works and what doesn't. Unfortunately, uh, at the time I couldn't afford a course or something like that would, that would just boost me up at the time and, and, you know, bring me to the next level because I was such a beginner and I had no money to my name. But what I did was I just spent the time with free trials, testing different themes, you know, whether it be a hundred dollar theme, $200 theme. I remember one day specifically I was working at a restaurant. I made $27 that day and those, all those $27, I blew it on one theme. Right. And so I would test different things and whenever I had a little bit of money, I would just test, test, test. And eventually, you know, thank God it worked out well and, and, you know, we moved on since then. But what I wanted to Today, talk about is the two themes that I use most specifically. I actually, you only use one as much now uh, for myself and my clients, but uh, in some cases, we'll use the other theme. So I'm going to talk about my two favorite themes. These are paid themes, uh, just so that everybody knows. Uh, but the reason why I use paid themes is because, you know, if you haven't seen my video before, uh, paid themes are optimal for anybody who's going to go into Shopify who is typically not a celebrity. Now, I could go uh, and talk about this right now. I'm not going to talk about this right now. Just check out my other YouTube video. In fact, I'll just leave it in the cards. On the top right corner of the video, um, you'll see like a little card notification. You can click on that and watch the other video about why premium themes are kind of needed if you're going to jump into Shopify. But let's talk about it. So, my two favorite themes are, well, I have technically three, but my two are number one is the Wolf of Shopify theme. So this is the Wolf of Shopify dot com. Uh, they've been around for a very long time. I've talked about them maybe a two years ago on my older YouTube channel, but they look nothing like they look now. Um, Wolf of Shopify is kind of how I started doing very well on Shopify. And um, prior to Wolf of Shopify, I was using Turbo. Now, for those who don't know at the time, like maybe three years ago, Turbo was the Don Dada. It was the, the, the best, uh, theme at the time, uh, in my opinion. And there's really, and it was the most expensive. It was unheard of for a Shopify theme to be $350. Um, but I actually put in a connection in my head. I saw all these big companies using the Turbo theme and I was like, Hey, like there's something to this and it worked. It worked very, very well. It was fast. It was beautiful. Um, in fact, for clients today, we still have turbo theme used $350 theme. Um, and you guys know that I like to test. And if you've watched my other YouTube videos, you know that we've literally create 14, uh, uh, excuse me, 10 to 15 passive income businesses online using Shopify. And what we learned was, is that there are other themes that can do well too. Um, but turbo and this other theme, the Wolf of Shopify theme, the original one, is what does the best, okay? Specifically, the Wolf of Shopify theme has certain additives or bonuses to it that make almost the Turbo theme look a little bland. Now, I've talked about the Turbo theme before. In fact, if you go on YouTube and you search, like, Turbo theme, walkthrough, or whatever, my video is the first video by Primebrain, so you should typically check it out. I think I made that video two years ago. Now, and I showed people, like I spent two hours just sitting there showing people how to create a website using Turbo Theme. Now, Turbo Theme, like I said, makes um, makes the the uh, this the Wolf of Shopify theme. The Wolf of Shopify theme, excuse me, makes Turbo Theme look a little bit bland, and Turbo Theme makes all the other themes look a little bland, also. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look into it. So this is, I'm going to pull up the demo for Turbo Theme here. And I'm going to pull, up, and by the way, guys, if you want to check them out, I'll leave uh, the links down below into the descriptions. Um, you know, in the description of the video, just check out the links and you'll be able to access, um, you know, these themes and, and learn and educate yourself more. Okay, so I'm going to put this to the side here. This is the Wolf of Shopify theme right here. Um, this is their demo. So if you want to view their demo on your computer, guys, you go here to get started. 
and you hit C theme in action. Um, and they're selling their theme for $100. Turbo theme is selling their theme for $350. So it's quite a discrepancy there. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look here. So this is the Wolf of Shopify demo theme. They built a little website with this theme. And this is the Turbo uh, theme. So let's go ahead and get rid of this here. So that, well, actually, let's, let's just take a look. So this is the newsletter pop-up. This is the newsletter pop-up for um, the the um, Wolf of Shopify theme. And you can see they both look relatively professional. I do like this little additive here with the little social media sharing icons. I think that's really cool. A little button for don't show again is crucially important because what happens is um, eventually if people uh, come onto your website and they keep saying this pop-up, they're not going to be happy. But you do want to annoy them a little, to be honest. You do want to annoy them, but you don't want to annoy them too much. And this is why the don't show again there is crucially important. I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and I'm going to hit X here. And I'm just going to hit X here also. I'm going to get rid of that. So right away, and this is what I talk about, there is a hero banner. Now, by the way, guys, I do have ownership over both of these themes. I did buy both of these themes a long time ago. Still have them. Still use them till today. And I will make videos of me building a website with each of these themes, believe it or not. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So we have this uh, almost like a header. I think they did bad with this hero banner. I think that uh, the hero banner is always used for some kind of promotion, especially if, you know, the girl's face is a little cut off here. I think they could have done a little bit better. But nonetheless, the banner is a good banner. Uh, Turbo did a phenomenal job with the hero banner here. You have the buttons. Uh, you can also do buttons here on this Turbo theme, so it's not like anything new and you can select where you want them on the left or right side and things like that with this specific theme the wolf of shopify theme it's also a clickable banner so if you click on the banner um it will take you to a page uh which is also very very good let's head back to the home page let's see if this is a clickable banner this is not a clickable banner see so i'm trying to click here and it's not a clickable banner but it does have clickable buttons now that's uh not that bad because uh you know wolf of shopify has the same th same thing Let's go ahead and just take it from the top here. We have our header, um, and we also have a header here with Turbo. Now, I do like that Turbo decided to go with the transparent header, but you could do the same thing with um, all the other themes out there if you want it to be transparent. What I don't recommend for most people is don't create a transparent header, guys, if you want to succeed or do better with Shopify because what happens is you're attracting people to your website from all parts of the world. And you don't know what kind of uh, vision ailments that these individuals may or may not have. Some people are colorblind. Some people are, they just have trouble seeing at far distances or close up. In fact, you know, a ton of people in the world today use glasses. Um, so what you want to do is you want your links at the top of the menu to be abundantly clear. Now, here, they've done a good job making them clear, uh, but for majority of people, there's going to be a photo that might, you know, mess up the header menu a little bit. You can't really see it. Um, that's something that you don't want. You definitely want your header menu to be 100% visible, and that's why I like putting the solid uh, color in the background, okay? They both have mega menus, so what mega menus really is, is where you can create this almost expansion to a menu, make it a little bit bigger, pop up with images on the menu, that's what's referred to as a mega menu. Um, they both have that, I believe, let's see here, yep, they both have that. And there's different ways that you can set it up. What I found is that Wolf of Shopify is a little bit easier to set up uh, for the average beginner, but that's just me. Um, and of course, you have a currency converter. So I know that Turbo Theme also has a currency converter. Here it is. Okay, but if they place it in the top bar, they here they place it in the header menu. Uh, my opinion, guys, for the top bar is... What you're going to want to do is you want to make an announcement in the top bar. So um, I'm going to drop these little tips here and there. Maybe you should write them down if you're if you're a beginner and you want to take notes. The top bar is always the very first bar that you see on your website. Now, not all websites have top bars. They're not all built equally. In this case, um, uh, what's it called? The, the Wolf of Shopify theme does use the top bar, but they, they use it for uh, cookies and things like that. What I recommend for people to do here is if you, for example, sell alcohol or cigarettes or something like that online that you have to, you know, essentially warn people that this is for 18 and older, use the top bar for it. It's really used for announcements. So if you have like a mega sale coming through or something like that, 
Uh, that's what the top bar is mainly for. Now, if you take a look here, if you look, the top bar is placed a little bit differently uh, between the Turbo theme and the, the Wolf of Shopify theme, right? So here, the top bar is the first thing that you see. Well, it's not it's not the first thing that you see, but it is the first thing on the website. For me, the first thing that I see on this website is this huge hero banner. This is why I tell people, if you're going to use a hero banner, what you want to do with the hero banner is you want to put some kind of promotion, some kind of discount that people can see right away, right? If it's a flagship product, if it's a product that's going to sell a lot and you know that it's going to sell a lot, put it in the hero banner. It's the first thing that people want to see, okay? And that, that's just based on my expertise when it comes to building these different Shopify stores. That's something that you need, right? So let's go ahead and get rid of this top bar here. Here, the top bar is unmovable, so you can't actually get rid of it. But what it does here, what I like about this top bar, it is it has rotating messages, okay? And this is actually a benefit to conversions because if somebody's mildly interested, they can see the different uh, messages that you want to provide so here free shipping on all orders right the next one is free domestic shipping on all orders here is mid-season sales 70 percent off these are messages that people are going to want to see when they come to your website and if you have multiple messages that you want to send to people then go ahead and do that so for example one of the messages might say free shipping worldwide right another message might say clearance sale on select items or whatever that thing might be and if you could actually click on it which is even better um, it will take you to the page. Now, in this case, uh, the Wolf of Shopify people, they haven't really configured their theme for it to click to a certain page. But the fact that it's a clickable top bar menu is that's amazingly beneficial. You'll see that the, it, it does improve conversions because what happens is if I'm an interested customer and like I said, I said interested, I'm not you know overly interested, just interested. And I see a little thing right here that says, um, where is it? 70% off, right? Mitsu. What I want to do as a customer is I want to be able to click on this to take me to those select items, whatever they might be, right? That's why top bars are crucially important. I don't believe that Turbo has that available. Um, but like I said, I, you know, there's something I could be missing, right? But I don't think Turbo has that available where it's a clickable top bar menu, all right? So, um, or it has to, a clickable top bar content, okay? Let's go ahead and scroll down now. Now, what they choose to do is they choose to create a slider, a product slider. So product sliders are definitely beneficial. And the way they work is that you select ideally a collection of your products. Uh, let's say you're a cosmetics company, for example, and one of your cosmetics is uh, lipstick, let's say, right? You have a collection of different lipsticks. What you would do is you would put them in your in your uh your collection put them in a certain collection on shopify and then place that collection right under the banner now i've told people about this before in my other channel i've discussed this um but this is obviously going to be the main place where i talk about shopify I talk about e-commerce and the idea of doing a slider collection is very very beneficial if you're going to do a hero banner what i personally found when it came down to conversions guys is that and, and this is the things that I'll talk about more often in the future, is that if you're going to use a hero banner, they work very well with product sliders under them. We've done testing on this. However, if you're not going to do a hero banner, you might as well not use a product slider, but a product grid, okay, right away when people see it. Um, in fact, something that we used to test with my old brand that I actually got acquired a while ago, it was a clothing company, is that what we would do is we realized that the hero banner and the slider didn't work out too well for us, but our conversions drastically increased about 3% when we drove people straight to the product page um, that had the full collection. So if I could just select your collections page, maybe, um, like a page just like this with just products and products and products. Uh, obviously, I'd fill this up a little more. I feel like this is not enough products. But um, when we drove people to a page like this as the front screen or as the home, home page, it drastically increased conversions. Um, and the idea behind that or the explanation is that it's um, a faster way to get conversions because you're making the sales process uh, faster. And what do I mean by that? For the people who don't know what I'm talking about is the more options that you create on your website, the more clickable buttons, the more your customer will get distracted, believe it or not. 
And we have normal distractions in day-to-day life um, that distract us as people, right? And so, you know, maybe you're looking and you're about to purchase a product on a certain website, maybe Nike.com, you you know, your mom calls you down for dinner, you get distracted, uh, you shut your phone off, next thing you know, you haven't bought the product for a month, okay? That's the case. So what the whole point is, as a business owner, is you want to limit the total amount of distractions on your website as possible. If there's uh, no benefit to it, right, to having a certain part of your website, then get rid of it. Turbo theme, however, I feel increases the amount of distractions. Case in point, and I'll go ahead and show you. When I add a product to my cart, let's go ahead and just click here on a product. Let's say this is the product and I add it to the cart. What happens is I'm going to have to go to my cart, right? I'm going to have to go to my cart to then check out, right? To then hit the checkout button. The problem with this is, is you're adding that extra step, which is not good. What you want to do is you want to have this situation, which this is why I like the uh, turbo, uh, the Wolf of Shopify theme, is that if I was to add a product to my cart, right? If I was to add a product to my cart, my cart is already full right here on the right. And this is my cart. I could just click check out right away, available to me right? That's what I would do personally. And what this is, is this is what I, I refer, uh, you know, it takes you, as you can see, it takes you right to the checkout. What this is, is this is called a one-step checkout. One-step checkouts do increase your conversion rates on your website. In fact, people that have one-step checkouts will see that there's less abandoned carts than, um, than a uh, two-step checkout, which is a turbo theme. So turbo theme is a true two-step checkout system. Uh, Wolf of Shopify is a one-step checkout system, which is huge for me personally, because what I realized was, and this was in the beginning of my Shopify journey, is after I finally figured out how to drive traffic, the next issue was, well, people are adding stuff to their cart, but they're not checking out, right? A good way to fix that is do a one checkout, one checkout system, one checkout Shopify store. Uh, and we'll talk about that in the future, okay? Um, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to stop the video here and we're going to do a part two of this analysis, okay? So let's go ahead and move into part two.